Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look and seeing if we can actually replicate on the ground some of the concerns and issues that we had with the engine in this particular aircraft. Now, if you haven't been able to watch that video where we actually lose the engine in flight, don't worry, that's exactly what is on the screen right now. And I'm gonna talk you through some of the things that I'm thinking and doing as I'm experiencing this. So here are the issues, starts right about here. Surging? Surging? Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. Everyone can hear that this engine is surging, and I'm thinking at this point, I could lose it at any Can't moment. Lie. But I'm not sure exactly what I should be doing. I'm trying to figure it out. Everything's kind of happening really quickly here. I get a little low, I get a little slow, not what you want to do. I pick up the power, try and gain a little bit more height, and I already have the gear down. I'm ready to land. And then, I lose it. Yeah, just relax. There's tons of, tons of momentum. No worries. Perfect. 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 That's what happened. Now let's take a look and see if we can replicate this issue. To start the engine, we just flick the trim button, which is the throttle cutoff button on this radio, and then I bring the throttle all the way to max and back down. Now the burner is on, that's what we see on the display. This is the igniter getting hot and ready to ignite the fuel. So now the engine starts to turn by the starter motor. Now this should be happening at 6,000 RPM where we get ignition, but it does seem to be a little low and it even drops down to 3,500. This is already a little strange to me because other starts have been higher than that where it starts from 8,000 RPM and drops to that 6,000 mark. So we're switching over the fuel to the main burners. This is all controlled by the, uh, the ECU. This is going to be achieved somewhere around the 10,000 RPM mark. And once we've achieved that, we're going to see the fuel ramp. And this is where we start to see some oddities happening here. The pump power seems to be climbing, but it's jumping up and then it's jumping back down again. You can see it all over the place. Definitely not something that I think is normal. So it's just passing the idle RPM right here of 42,000. It's jumping up to the 45,000 mark. Run idle. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this engine from its idle point all the way to max power very slowly so it can essentially calibrate everything in between idle and max power. We're seeing pump power about 486, 489, 490. And now it says run max. So this is where we are essentially establishing our pump power for maximum RPM, which seems to be around that 490 mark. Now what I'm trying to do is establish a constant RPM just to see exactly what happens at that constant RPM. We'll try to find the 120,000 RPM mark and leave it at that. So here's where I pull my hand away and it seems like a drop down 120,000 right there and then back up to 130,000 and then it starts to settle at 120,000. Definitely something that does not seem to be right and the pump power was following that. I drop the throttle all the way down to idle and you can see it, it's almost like the throttle's not getting all the way to the bottom but I do have something on the screen where I'm able to see the throttle number and I'm looking at that right there and I know that it's right at the bottom. Even if I push it down it's not, not needing to get down any further to get that idle RPM. So from idle to max power seemed to be pretty good there getting to 152,000 RPM with pump power at around the 45 to 490 mark still tracking as to the same values that we saw before. And now I'm gonna try and get another constant RPM value. We're gonna aim for that 125,000 mark. I'm making extremely small adjustments to the transmitter to get a constant RPM here. It is bouncing around a little bit, but 
not nearly as bad as when it is surging. So we go all the way back up to 152,000 RPM and it looks like it's having to calibrate the pump power here. This is definitely unusual. Now we're seeing pump power of 540, which is quite high. The max for this engine is around the 600 mark. So we have a constant speed. So here's the engine running at about 102,000 pump power. It's climbing up a little bit and dropping. And there it dropped down to 95,000 and then jumped back up to 120,000. Definitely very strange. So I bring the RPMs down to 90,000 RPM. Now typically I'm seeing the issue between 100 and 125,000 RPM mostly. So I bring it back up to the 115,000 RPM mark briefly. It's jumping around a little bit, but otherwise somewhat stable. And we go all the way to max power here in a second. Pump power again, over 500. We settle at 110,000. Pretty stable there. At about the 130,000 mark. Fairly stable. Down to 120,000, it was not. So it jumped back up to mid 120s. A little bit of a surge there where it dropped and then went up to 115. All the way back to idle. It does seem to take quite a bit of time to go from 50,000 all the way to the 42,000 mark, but it does get there with pump power of 105. Before it was a little lower at around 95, but not when it was initially started. Hundred fifty-two thousand RPM pump power at 514. At 120,000 RPM, a little bit of surging is happening here. So now I start to go and point it out when it's happening. I'm starting to catch more patterns now, being familiar with it. Where before, I wasn't really catching a lot of the stuff that I'm talking about in the video earlier. So we're seeing 120,000 down to 115,000 RPM, and then the pump power compensates. A couple points worth noting here, when I was looking at lines from the fuel tank to the power pack to the turbine, there is no air, any visible air bubbles within all of these lines. New fuel is used, it's mixed with 5% oil, I am using mobile DTE light and I am using kerosene as the fuel of choice here in this engine. So a few times there I was pointing out when 
I had issues, probably not necessary. It's very easy to see it in this video. I'm trying to target the 100,000 mark there. And then I went all the way to full 512 on the pump power. Seems like it's all over the place in terms of the value. Back down to 120,000 RPM and that is definitely a point that likes to surge. I don't have this issue all that much below 100,000 RPM and I definitely don't really have it above 130,000 RPM. It's able to find the correct power to push fuel to the turbine, but here at 120,000, it seems to really struggle. And now we're at 112,000 RPM. Seems to be maintaining it at a pump power of 250. Quite stable compared with other elements of the video here. Pushing up to the 117,000 mark. Seems to be quite stable here as well. And as such, I skip a little bit forward. So we're at 120,000 RPM. We're doing this constant RPM test. And again, without fail, it's surging. It drops a bunch of RPM and then surges all the way to 125,000. It is awfully strange that it does this at 120,000 RPM, but yet at max power, 152,000 RPM, where more fuel is flowing, it does not do this. Very strange indeed. Not sure what is actually happening here. If you guys have any suggestions as to what you think it is, let me know in the comment section below. So here we are, we're ramping down to idle and just about to kill it. It takes forever again from 50,000 down to the 42,000 mark. I keep thinking that's the transmitter stick, but no, it's at the lowest point and I'm waiting for this turbine to figure itself out. With a pump power now of 96, it's sitting at that 42,000 mark, and I flick the switch, which essentially kills the engine. And that's all for now.